Okay, the UPS man just came and he left this package. And this package, I'm going to open this uh, Chris Reeves Sabenza knife. Use that to open the package. He left this package at my door. And I believe there will be another lens for my Sony NEX camera in here. So let's see. Yes, that's what that is. And there's a bunch of packing material in there. Get that out of the way. So let me get this position so you can see it. Give that time to focus in. One thing I've noticed with these NEX cameras is it does take a second or two to focus in when you change distance quite a bit. Um, but these lenses generally do pretty good. I like to use fast glass on these cameras in low light. We're in low light situation right now. I've got the Zeiss 24mm f1.8 lens on here now. And this lens that I just got is the 50mm f1.8. And one advantage to this lens is it's got the optical stabilization built in, the image stabilization built in, whereas the Zeiss lens, even though it's $1,000, does not. This lens was about $300, and it's supposedly very sharp. Now, of course, the Zeiss lens is much wider, 24 millimeter versus 50 millimeter, so the Zeiss lens is going to be about 35 millimeter equivalent, roughly, I'm just estimating here, and this 50 millimeter will be, I think, about 75 millimeter or so um, equivalent, so... Um, yeah, that's your trade-off, is you're going to have not as wide with this lens. But for portraits and all, this should be beautiful for shooting videos. This should be beautiful to give you that uh, shallow depth of field that you're looking for sometimes in videos. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this knife down. See, I'm going to put away. I love this Chris Reeves Sabenza. Let's let that focus in. Give it some time there. Focus in on that. This knife is made in Utah, I mean Idaho. It says Idaho made right on it. I don't know if you can read that or not. This is titanium. The whole thing's titanium. And um, S30 steel. Very sharp. Very well made. That's a Chris Reeves Sabenza. Probably the best pocket knife made, period. Okay, so enough of that. Let's get here and open this box. Again, I'm shooting this with the NEX-7 with the Zeiss lens. I'm trying to keep it so you can see what I'm seeing as I unbox this. Bubble wrap around it. There's some books on the side here. I'm going to set these off to the side. I never read those. Um, and then here's the lens. Very lightweight, but still feels well made. I don't know if that's plastic or metal. It's hard to tell. But it seems well made. This is loose. Um, just hold it at different angles here so you can see it. That'll focus in on that. I'm trying to get, give it something to focus on. Visually, the glass looks very good. It looks beautiful. And again, very lightweight. You won't have any problem carrying this around with you. But it seems well made. Lightweight yet well made. Good combination. I'm impressed. I've been impressed with all the lenses. Um, my 16mm f2.8 lens seems a little bit soft but it's not terrible it's not what you would use for portraits or for sharp work um, but it is is very small flat and very lightweight um, even lighter than this so there's trade-offs on all of this kind of stuff um, this thing says it's made in China okay if that can focus that close or not I'm very close to the size lens there Probably a little too close. E mount. Nice lens. It should should work out very 
very nicely for what I want to use it for, for portraits and for video work. So, a matter of fact, I'm going to set up two cameras, the NEX7 and the NEX5, and I'm going to shoot a new video right now using both, and we'll see what that looks like. That'll also be in my stream. CraigShip.com. Check it out. Oh, one last thing, the hood. Mm-hmm, hood, 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 hood. <clears throat> so, again, let me... Give this time to focus in. Give it something flat to focus on. Hopefully it's focusing in on that. I don't know if that's enough for it to see. It doesn't look like it is. Okay, so now it's finally focused. Okay, so this goes... See where the little nub is. Uh, where's the top? Oh, there's a the little dot. So this would go... I don't usually use hoods. So snaps in like that. So it's a very substantial hood. That would definitely give you a huge amount of protection. I'll leave it on there for now. Very, very substantial hood. Alright, so that's the 50mm F. 1.8. Okay, uh, one last thing I want to show you. I'm going to switch the lens on this NEX5. I'll switch it over to the to the new lens that I just got here. <clears throat> There's the dot. Okay. Okay, so now you can see the difference. It is much bigger with this lens on it, obviously. But still, very lightweight, very carryable. Much lighter than a DSLR with an APS-C size sensor. Any DSLR with an APS-C size sensor. You can't compare this to the Micro Four Thirds and all those cameras with tiny sensors in them. This has an APS-C size sensor. So the Nikon One, the Four Thirds, most of those other compact mirrorless cameras have much smaller sensors comparing apples to oranges. This is a great rig for an APS-C size. Okay, I'm Craig Ship, and my main website is craigship.com, but I develop a lot of websites, and my primary focus is local portal websites, or what we call community websites. And for a community website to truly be a community website, it needs to be an open local portal. It needs to have a brand name that the locals can relate to. For example, for Frederick County, Maryland, USA, we have frederick.com. You go to frederick.com and you learn all about the area. People can join as a member and they can submit their own content onto the site. So they can interact with the site, all at no cost. They can put events on the events calendar. If their church is having a fundraiser, for example, they can put it on the calendar. There are many, many resources on the internet that people can use. I think one of the most valuable resources going forward will be these local community portal websites, where they're really focused on local information. We have a business directory that's all the best owner-operator businesses, businesses that are normally hard to find even on the internet. We have a directory where business owners can go in and actually add their own business. Then they can upgrade to become a sponsor if they choose to and get even more visibility in the site. And on the Frederick site, many hundreds of businesses have chosen to do just that. But they can get in with a name, address, and phone number just for free. So these are open community portal websites. And the main website to go to to find links to all of the site is areaguides.com.